All right, so lesson 43 is on equivalent division problems and finding unknowns in fraction and decimal problems. So here we have the problem 1,200 divided by 16. That's a pretty difficult problem to do. We're going to write it out here. Okay. So to make this simpler, I can find an equivalent problem that's the same will give me the same answer. So to do that, I'm going to divide both the, both the numbers by 2. Because since I do it to both of the numbers, it doesn't change my answer. So 16 divided by 2 is 8, and 1,200 divided by 2 is 600. Now this number is a lot easier to work with. Okay, Single digits are always easier. So let's solve this problem. 8 goes into 6. It can't. Put my little x placeholder. 8 goes into 60 seven times. That's 56. We subtract. We have 4 left over. Bring down my 0. 8 goes into 40 five times. So my answer is 75. Now if I did this problem over here, I would still get 75 as my, as my answer. But dividing by 8 is a lot easier than dividing by 16. All right, on this problem, we have the, this division problem, 7 and 1 half divided by 2 and 1 half. Now, this can be very tricky. So what I'm going to do is multiply both these numbers by 2. Because if I multiply them both by 2, I get rid of my fraction. And I end up having 7 and 1 half multiplied by 2 is 15 divided by and 2 and 1 half divided by, or times by 2 is 5. And 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. All right, this next section is on the unknown numbers. So here we have d minus 5 equals 3.2. There's two ways to think about this. I'm going to show you the first way and then the second. So here I know that some big number minus 5 equals 3.2. That means that d has to be the biggest number of these three numbers. So to solve for d, I'm going to add 5 plus 3.2. Okay, so add those up, we get 2, decimal point comes straight down, 5 plus 3 is 8. So d is equal to 8.2. Now to double check, we can actually put that into my equation, 8.2 minus 5, and let's see if it equals 3.2. 2 minus nothing is 2, decimal comes down, 8 minus 5 is 3. So 8.2 is the correct answer. Another way to think about this is to think, how can I get this letter all by itself? Because at the end, I want to end up with a D equals something. Because that'll tell me what that letter really is. So, the way you get a letter by itself is you're going to do the opposite of whatever's around it. Okay, so in this case, I have D minus 5. So to get rid of this minus 5 here, I'm going to add 5 to both sides. Okay, because whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. Now, if I add negative 5 plus 5, that just cancels out. I get 0. And then I have 3.2 plus 5, which is equal to 8.2. So I got the answer either way. So whichever way is easiest for you to think about is the way you should try. All right, on this one we have f plus 1 fifth is equal to 4 fifths. Again, f, in this case, f is going to be a smaller number than my total. So to solve it, we're going to do 4 fifths minus 1 fifth to figure out what f is. 4 fifths minus 1 fifth is 3 fifths. So that is what f equals. And if you're not sure, you can plug that back into the equation. 3 fifths plus 4 fifths is equal to 5 fifths. Excuse me, this. And so that is correct. Okay, this is the last one, and it deals with multiplication. So we have 3 fifths times by n equals 1. 
Now if you remember, if I multiply two fractions together and it equals one, it means it's the reciprocal of my first fraction. So the reciprocal of three-fifths is five-thirds. Remember we just flip that number. We flip it over. Equals one. So five-thirds is my answer. Now if you want to double check, you do the problem. Three-fifths times five-thirds equals, three times five is fifteen, five times three is fifteen. Fifteen over fifteen is equal to one, so that is the correct answer. So that's all. Good luck with your homework.